Okay, so we're looking today at a tricky little vector problem. So let's read it through first and then come up with a plan. So first of all, we've got ABC is a triangle. Uh, you can see the diagram there, we've got ABC, we've got a line BM marked on, where uh, M's on AC, and we've got a point D marked somewhere on BC. Uh, and then it says the vector B to A is the vector A. So I'm just going to mark that on so I know don't get my directions wrong. So I know going that way is the vector A, and B to C going this way here is the vector C. I mean, it tells me that M is the midpoint of AC. So that's split half and half. And D is a point on BC such that B to D ratio with D to C is three to one. So that means that that chunk is three quarters and that chunk there is one quarter. It always helps me to put as much as I can in. I like having the information on the diagram. I and mean, then the last point is E is a point on BM, so it's somewhere on BM, such that AED is a straight line. So if I draw AED in, so that's going to be my point E there. I and mean, then it asks me to work out the ratio of B to E, E to M. Okay, so when we have a problem like this, what we need to do is we need to form and solve some simultaneous equations. Now, to do that, we need to come up with two different expressions for the same vector. So the vector I'm going to look at is the vector BE. And I need to do two different routes around the diagram to get BE. I then can look at them two expressions, and from there I can form my simultaneous equations. Well, the first route to get from B to E is a very straightforward straight down here. Now, I know that BE is some multiple of BM. And BM is a vector I can write down. I need to know what AC is first. So I know that AC is going to be minus A plus C. OK. So then A to M is a half of that. So then B to M is the vector A plus a half of AC. So B M is the vector A plus a half of the vector AC, which is minus A plus C. And to simplify that, we'll get a half A plus C. And now... The vector BE is just some multiple of that. Now, we don't know what that multiple is, so we're going to give it a, a, a letter or a constant. Uh, typically, I mean, you can, as with anything like this, you can give it any letter you want. I'm going to use the Greek letter mu. So mu, lots of half A plus a half. C. There's my first expression for BE. That's one of the ones I'm going to be interested in. Put a little box around it so I don't lose it. I now need to come up with a different way of writing BE. So using a different vector. So I use BM there. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to use uh, the vector AD. So a way of getting from B to E will be to go to A and then to E. So first of all, I'm going to write down the vector A, D. So to get from A to D, I'm going to do minus A, and then I'm going to do three quarters of C. So minus A plus three quarters of C. So then A to E is some multiple of that vector. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to give it the Greek letter lambda here. So that's lambda lots of minus A plus three quarters C. So then finally, BE, or BE is A plus AE. So it's BA plus AE. So that's going to be A plus 
lambda lots of minus a plus three quarters c. Now, when it comes to forming my simultaneous equations, I'm going to be looking at the coefficients of a and the coefficients of c in my two expressions. So I'm going to rewrite this so it's clear what my coefficient of, of, of a and c are. So if I look at my terms in a, I've got 1a here, and I'm going to get a minus lambda a here. So I've got a into 1 minus lambda. And then my coefficients of c is just 3 quarters times lambda. And that's my second expression there. Just going to move down. Now I'm going to use these two expressions to write down two equations in lambda and mu. So if we look at the coefficients of a, first of all, I know that a, lots of one minus lambda here, and I've got a half mu lots of a here. So because these expressions are both for BE, they've got to be the same. I've got to have the same amount of A and the same amount of C. So I know that um, half mu is going to be equal to 1 minus lambda by looking at my coefficients of A. And if I now look at my coefficients of C, I've got a half mu in this expression, and I've got 3 quarters lambda in this expression. So I know that a half mu is equal to three quarters lambda. And if we look at these, I've got a half mu and a half mu, so I can substitute one into the other. So I can then write one minus lambda is equal to three quarters lambda. Nice one to solve. So I multiply by four, four minus four lambda, is equal to three lambda. And then I'm going to add four and uh, four lambda to both sides. So I'll get four is equal to seven lambda. So then lambda is equal to four sevenths. I now can then use this value here in this expression, in this equation here. So I know that half mu is equal to 1 minus lambda, so 1 minus 4 sevenths, which is 3 sevenths. So if a half mu is equal to 3 sevenths, then mu is equal to 6 sevenths. Now, if we go back to our expressions, let's move my page down. I know that BE is mu, that's my constant here, lots of BM. So that's told me now that BE is six sevenths of BM. So that bit there is six sevenths. So that means this bit here must be one seventh. And I'm very whereabouts now. I need to write down the ratio. So if I go back, I've got some space. I know then that the ratio of BE to EM is 6 sevenths to 1 seventh. Shouldn't really write them as fractions, so let's cancel out my denominators. 6 to 1. And there's our answer.